I'm Kailoni, and welcome to The Rundown, produced by the St. Kitts Nevis Information Service, a weekly program where we recap the government's top news and events over this past week. That's seven stories in seven minutes. The late Sir Samuel Weymouth Tapley Seaton, former Governor General of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, was awarded the honor of a state funeral on Thursday, July 20th. His casket was draped in the Federation's national flag. Many people from across the Twin Island Federation, as well as visiting delegates, gathered to pay tribute to the former Governor General, who played a key role in the country's politics and development. Sir Tapley Seaton, who died on June 29, 2023, served as the Federation's first Attorney General after independence from 1983 to 1995 and the fourth Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis from 2015 to 2023. Prime Minister, the Honourable Dr. Terence Jew, led a delegation to Brussels for the European Union and the Community of Latin American and the Caribbean States Summit. The EU CELAC Summit was an important political milestone in reinvigorating the bi-regional alliance. It was attended by heads of state and government of the European Union and the Community of Latin American and the Caribbean States. Following the opening ceremony of the third EU CELAC summit in Brussels on Monday, July 17, Ministers of Foreign Affairs of St. Kitts and Nevis and Romania, the Right Honourable Dr. Denzel Douglas and Her Excellency Luminita Obedescu held talks on the potential for strengthened cooperation between both countries. Romania maintained its pledge to build stronger ties with St. Kitts and Nevis and the wider Caribbean and continue to offer full scholarships to students in the region wishing to pursue higher education in Romania. Foreign Minister Douglas thanked Romania for his generous offer and committed the ministry's services in disseminating the call for applications widely. And now, Here's a public service announcement. The Prime Minister's Office wishes to inform the general public that the 2023 National Honours Award nomination forms are now available at the security desk at Government Headquarters on Church Street. The forms are to be completed and accompanied by a detailed profile of the nominee and submitted to the Cabinet Secretary, Prime Minister's Office, Government Headquarters, Church Street, Bastyr. Interested persons can also visit the SKNS Facebook page to scan the QR code and obtain the form, which can also be submitted online. Deadline for submissions is Monday, July 31st, 2023. In an effort to effectively inform key agricultural stakeholders, about the Ministry of Agriculture's efforts to further develop and improve the management capacity and sustainability of the poultry industry through the implementation of the Senkis and Nevis Layer Chicken Industry Sustainable Development Project. The Department of Agriculture, in partnership with the Taiwan International Corporation and Development Fund, Taiwan ICDF, hosted a sensitization session on Thursday, July 6th. If you haven't done it as yet, please do it today. Subscribe to our YouTube page at SKNIS Media for regular updates, live coverage, and even more information on your government. While you're at it, like, share, and interact with our Facebook and Instagram pages at SKNIS Media and SKNIS Info. In a significant stride towards reinforcing the nation's ability to manage mass casualty events, the Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the Pan-American Health Organization, PAO, has begun the Mass Casualty Management System training course on St. Kitts and Nevis. The initiative is an all-inclusive endeavor aimed at increasing the health sector's capacity to adequately provide services during a mass casualty event. The Ministry of Tourism facilitated a taxi operator's consultation at the Senkis Marriott Resort on July 18, where the draft of the taxi and tour bus operator's policy was presented to the operators. Following the presentation of the draft policy, 
a robust interactive session was held which allowed the operators to give their feedback on the draft policy and on other pertinent matters impacting the industry. Here now is the picture of the week. Two new crime scene response units have been commissioned to the crime scene unit of the Royal St. Christopher Nevis Police Force. In a brief ceremony on July 19, at the police training complex on St. Kitts, the vehicles were officially drafted into the Royal St. Christopher Nevis Police Force's fleet of law enforcement vehicles. And now for the video of the week. On July 18, Minister of Energy et al., the Honourable Congress Maynard, presented for the first time a voluntary national review to the United Nations High-Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development held in New York. For the entire video and more, visit our social media pages. Now you're all caught up. Join us next week, same place, same time, for another recap as we continue to bridge the gap between your government and you.